Welcome back. We're taking a look at exercise 12-2 from Murox, PHP, and MySQL. And in this exercise, we'll be improving the task list manager application we used from chapter 11. And we'll modify it so it uses the session instead of using hidden fields to store the, our task array. OK, so starting with step one. It says to review the code in the index.php and the tasklist.php direct files in the exercise starts 12 dash, or exercise chapter 12 exercise 2 there we go in that directory and review the code so we're reviewing the code index.php this should look familiar because it's what we used in a couple exercises ago taking a look at the tasklist.php what it's asking us to notice is that we have these for each loops that uh, print out the tasks, and especially in the forms where we have to use a hidden field to create the task list each time. So what that means is every time I add a task, task 1, task 2, once I add this task, what I actually get if I inspect the element here We've got all these hidden fields with our previous tasks, so task one, task two, and I've got a hidden element there. And that's what we're going to be modifying, so we don't have to have these hidden elements all the time. So we do that for the add task, we actually do that for the delete task as well. We've got hidden inputs, and you can see that uh, down below. Hidden inputs for task one, task two. Okay. Step two, modify the index.php file so it starts a session that lasts for one year. So right now, if I go to our resources tab, check out our cookies, we have no uh, PHP session ID in here. I'm going to go ahead and borrow from our last exercise. Uh, here's our index. Up at the top, we created a session, started a session. So I'll borrow that code for exercise two. And go ahead and put that in here. So it tells us it should be a session that lasts one year. So instead of three years, we'll just take that out and say one year in seconds in our comment. OK, so now on the right side, if I reload the page, I should get my session ID cookie, which I have, and it expires a year from now. OK, great. That's good for step two. Step three. Modify the index.php file so it stores the array of tasks in the session. So this is our index.php. And right now it's grabbing it out of the input as a task list. So let's modify a couple places. First is going to be, well, Let's we'll take this out. We don't need to grab it out of the input post anymore. We'll just grab it out of our session instead. Task list equals. Actually, I'm going to make this if statement a little simpler. Task list equals array. Initialize it as an array and say if uh, is set session task list. Then we'll set our task list equal to session task list. OK. So similar to what we had before, just now the default is to set it to an array. And if I have a list in my session, then I will use that instead. OK, so that should work. So it stores the array of tasks in the session, which it does now. What the step doesn't tell us to do is that we should be modifying our session array uh, inside of the actions. So here we have our task list array. Once we've added a new task onto our, our task list array, we should also make sure we update our session. session task list equals our modified task list. And same thing down below. 
when we delete an item. Okay, so now we're updating our session uh, when we've performed the add or delete actions. Okay, that's great. So now for step four, modify the task list PHP so it does not store the array of tasks in hidden HTML fields. So we'll jump over to our task list. We'll delete out those hidden inputs, which we don't need to do anymore. We still want the top one because we want the list items printed out in our list so we can see our items, but we don't need it for the forms for add and delete. Okay, so that should be it for the section. Great. So I'll save this and test it out as step five is testing it. Okay, so I'll reload the page, start a task. We'll add task one again. Great, task one is there. Add task three. Great, we have task three. And we'll inspect this, this form. Note that we don't have any more hidden um, task elements, we just have our action. So let's check out the delete task as well. We don't have hidden elements for the tasks here, they're now stored inside of our session. Great, so I'll go ahead and delete task one, make sure that still works. We have task three, and it also says make sure to exit and restart the browser to make sure the session is persistent. Before I do that, I'm going to check our resources, our cookie the expiration. We do have a date in here. It's not a session cookie, so this should be persistent, and it looks like it's set up correctly. So let me quit Chrome. Reopen Chrome. Go to our exercise 12, exercise 2, chapter 12, exercise 2. And I've still got my task 3 in here because it's still got that persistent cookie. Just to double check that, I'll add my don't delete me task. Okay, so I've got don't delete me. Double checking again. Close Chrome, open Chrome. Chapter 12, exercise 2, and I still have my don't delete me task. So great. It's a little simpler to use the, the session array rather than having to repost the uh, tasks inside hidden elements in the form. And that's great for exercise 2-2. Two